In this lecture, we will discuss solving the system of linear equations by the method of substitution. The given system is y equals x plus 1, 5x minus 5y plus 5 equals 0. The goal of this problem is to find the values of x and y. To find the values of x and y, we use the method of substitution. In the method of substitution, it is convenient to have one of the variables isolated. As we see in the first equation, y is isolated by itself. To find the values of x and y, we substitute y equals x plus 1 in the second equation. Substituting y equals x plus 1 in the second equation, we get 5x minus 5 times x plus 1 plus 5 equals 0. Now, we want to clear the parentheses by distributing 5 to each of the terms inside. So, we get 5x minus when you distribute the 5, you get 5x again. And distributing negative 5 to positive 1, we get negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. Now, on the left-hand side of this equation, we have two terms with the variables and two terms with the constants. Combining the like terms, we get 0 equals 0. This system reduces to an identity. When the system reduces to an identity, the system has infinitely many solutions. When the two, these two equations represent two lines. When the two lines are coinciding, the system re reduces to an identity. Hence, this system represents coinciding lines. And each point on the line represents the solution. Since there are infinitely many points on the line, there are infinitely many solutions for this system of linear equations. This system is referred to as, is consistent and dependent system. The solution for this system can be represented by any one of the lines because both the lines, both the equations represent the same line. Hence, the solution is represented as xy such that y equals x plus 1 or xy such that 5x minus 5y plus 5 equals 0. In summary, we discussed how to solve the system of linear equations by the method of substitution. In this example, the system reduces to an identity. Hence, the system represents the coinciding lines and each point on the line is a solution to the system. Hence, we have infinitely many solutions.